Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. The big SBC that a lot of us have been waiting for is projected to be today. Yes, we're talking about that big player of the month, Mbappe. How is that going to impact the market? Mbappe's card prices and SBC fodder that so many of us had invested in, we have to talk about a lot of that today. But for the rest of us that probably aren't even going to be able to afford that SBC, we have big news about Black Friday as well to go over today with especially some new timing related to what we talked about in yesterday's video, but earlier this year, because of what is shown on the loading screen right now. So, lot to discuss today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's SBC content and not belabor it too much, because there was a lot, but it was pretty mid. Starting off with another squad foundations set, this time from the Saudi League. Musa Dembele is our SBC player. Guys, again, I'll say it, these cards are mid but I think EA has to do that, right? At least it's cheap as well, and it's not that tough to complete. If you go to objectives as well, the rest of the Saudi Foundation's cards are there. My problem with Foundation cards are, yeah, you get multiple cards from a specific league that most often don't get promo cards, but they're just behind the curve, and you can make Evolution players better than what these cards are for even some of these players in these SBCs. So that's kind of the thing that I think is a bit of, little bit underwhelming there. Now, speaking of other player SBCs that we had, we had yet again another, which we were expecting, another player SBC for the FC Pro Live promo, Van Den Boomen. He is very similar to Jen Ro, actually. When I take a look at both of these cards, they are very similar. They're a bit different, right? He's more defensive-minded. Jen Ro's a bit more attacking. I kind of like Jen Ro's upside, though, since he's 84 rated and League 1, and he could also get that plus 2 overall boost with the first upgrade. So if I was going to do one of these, I would go with Jen Rowe. But if Van de Boom and something that interests you, it is cheap, and that is very nice. We also had UEFA marquee matchups. Totally forgot again that they're releasing these for not only just the Champions League week, but also the Women's Champions League matchups. If any of you did the Bacha SBC, which is arguably one of the most popular uh, SBC cards right now in this game, she has the potential to get upgraded later on this week because they are playing once again, and as long as they win the game, right? Last game, they won 9-0. If they just win this game, she will get that two-win threshold and get a plus one. 89% upvote on UEFA marquee matchups. Check your clubs, actually. I did the first SBC for this with PSG and Bayern Munich. There were a lot of PSG and Bayern Munich players. I think all Bayern Munich men's players sell for like 4,000 coins or 3,000 coins right now, so check your clubs for those. There are definitely some players up in value because of this SBC, but hey, it's a little bit of supply. It didn't hurt prices on the market that much, though, and we'll take a look at about that a little bit later. We also had another upgrade pack, the 80-plus double, which honestly is pretty good. Only requires nine gold cards, which is very nice. Again, I would only do this if you're trying to stack a couple of packs for the upcoming promo or if you want to try to pack an FC Pro Live player right now. It's a decent upgrade pack SBC, but the one that's getting all the hype in the headlines is the 85 plus upgrade. You can do it three times a day. I did it twice. My club can handle no more, and that's what EA wants. That is the exact plan for this SBC is to drain you and me of our SBC fodder upcoming for Black Friday. I think there's going to be more SBCs coming out today as well to do that exact same thing, but the fact that this is repeatable three times a day means... Like EA is trying to say, hey, you can save these packs, right? And it would be fun to save an 85 plus upgrade pack for everything that's going to be available this upcoming weekend. But it's kind of a fodder drain. And speaking of SBC fodder, prices on the low end are rising rapidly. GG's if you bought into 82's or 83's. 82's you can still get on bid for like 750 and list those up for like 1.3 to 1.4k. You'll get some sales. Those are probably going higher today. 83's are probably going higher today as well. They're going to go above 2k guys before we even get to Black Friday because so many people don't want to miss out on this 85 plus upgrade. 84's are starting to rise a little bit. 85's even up just a little bit. This is like the probably one of the last calls before I would say stop buying the fodder and maybe try to get it during some lightning rounds or maybe some other supply later on this week. But especially with 83s hitting 2k, there's a big payday for those of us who have stocked those in our club upcoming. I wouldn't say I would necessarily sell those right now, but you could start to maybe lazy list those 83s at like 3,000 coins because honestly, by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and this SBC is refreshing for the final times, we've got hype for the, the Thunderstruck promo and coming. That's some fodder prices. You might be able to see 3k for 83s. That's honestly where they could go, depending on where EA starts with the lightning rounds and all that stuff later on this week, of course, too. But that is making the low tier fodder rise 
a lot. Now, other things from yesterday. We had the EA tweet, and this is what we're talking about a lot today. The League One Player of the Month. Um, we are still expecting Evolutions, another FC Pro Live Player SBC today. And we also had news about a flashback player SBC, which we talked about in yesterday's video. Seems like that is coming true once again. I believe this will be a part of the Black Friday promo release. Some flashback player. I'll be watching for leaks. It'd probably be a big player like it is every year. I'll be watching for leaks pretty soon related to that. A couple other really small things. The Prime Gaming Pack is out once again. If you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, that's one and the same. You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. You can subscribe to the Twitch uh, stream for free as well. That link is down below in the description. And get yourself a free pack. A lot of people were opening those yesterday. And there was news about cards related to the Euro this coming summer already. Uh, I think this was in like an ad or something like that as people were like watching streams. It was popping up. Remember the History Maker cards last year? History, World Cup History Maker cards, right? That 87 rated Mbappe that I was crazy lucky enough to pack. A lot of people were packing guys. I think Pulisic had one. There was a lot of lower rated ones like Ayu. Um, that's what this sounds like. You just have to play the game by January to get one of these cards. The card design looks super mid, and I can't imagine these are going to be very high rated or super useful at all. But that is some of the news that came out of content yesterday as well. Actually, one thing we can look at really quick. Rivals rewards, not rivals rewards, foot champs rewards. As I go into foot champs here, they made a change to foot champs rewards, guys. Rank 5 and above. There is a new pack available to those who get that rank in Weekend League this coming week. It is the Campaign Mix Pack, which if you remember the pack code from a couple of days ago, this is an untradeable pack that guarantees you one player from Road to the Knockouts, Trailblazers, or the Centurions promo. So that's a nice added twist and a nice kind of fun thing added to rewards as well. So that's a GG. I don't know if the red picks are coming back. There's kind of rumors and talk about that. I want to actually talk about that in today's video a little bit later. I think that might be a part of today's content. But those still show gold players. But we do have an update here for the campaign mixed player pack. Once again, it is untradeable. I wouldn't expect it to crash the market a lot. But maybe some of your really cheap road to the knockouts, lower rated ones, more commonly packed ones. Think about who you were packing from the 84 plus RTTK upgrade and Trailblazers upgrade. You're going to see a lot of those cards packed untradeable from weekly rewards in this next weekend. Which, you know what? Sweet. Another reward. Not going to complain. Thanks to EA. But let's get to the big business of today and it's this SBC now foot sheriff said that Mbappe POTM will be a 92 rated card which is what we expected right the usual play of the month upgrade path should mean he's a 93 because he has a 92 in form which he should get a plus one upgrade over top of that like if you look at Jude Bellingham's card and we talked about this when Mbappe was first leaked Jude Bellingham has the 88 rated in form or the 87 rated in form sorry and he got the 88 rated player of the month SBC and Bappe is going to be getting a 92 because EA doesn't want to give us that great of a player that everybody could go and craft I say everybody it's going to be an expensive SBC but they just don't want to release too high rated of an Mbappe this early on in the year I totally understand that but what this actually helps is if they were to release a 93 rated Mbappe think about how expensive that would be I mean that would have to be a ridiculously expensive SBC and this being a 92 maybe makes it a little bit more bearable, right? Again, we're talking about a 4 million coin card here. Again, I'm still settling on an SBC price for this Mbappe around 3.5 mil. If you look at the Salah Play of the Month, you look at the Hyunmin Sun Play of the Month SBCs, EA has actually been giving us really decently valued Play of the Month SBCs this year. So I think they're going to come in underneath the price of what his card actually is on the market for the Mbappe. And I think it's going to be about 3.5 mil. Also, it's going to be a lot of squads. I can't see EA releasing a, a like ton of 89 rated squads. Even like a 90 rated squad right now is not even possible. So I think a couple of 89s and then a bunch of 88s, 87s, 86s, and 85s is probably going to be how that SBC is laid out. I don't know, guys. What's the over-under in the squads for this SBC? Probably like 25, something like that. Like it's going to be it's going to be a grind, and it's going to take all 30 days of it being out to probably go and do. But Black Friday being this weekend, this is a huge pull for SBC fodder. We're going to talk about that a little bit. One reason I want to say, too, that I think this SBC is today, it could also not be today, but we're expecting it to be based off of how the last League One Player of the Month SBC was released. It was Bulka, right? The goalkeeper card. He was 
announced the Monday before he was dropped into the next Tuesday in the game, if that makes sense. So he was announced on a Monday, and then eight days later he was released. Uh, Mbappe was announced last Monday officially, so we're expecting him to be dropped today as well. Bolka is going to be expiring in just a couple days anyway. That is why we think this SBC is going to be coming today. How's it going to impact Mbappe's cards on the market as we look at these first? Mbappe's gold card is obviously out of packs right now because his inform is in packs. Um, if the SBC for this brand new Mbappe ends up being, um, wow, he's down even further. 2.25, that's a massive undercut. He's like 2.3 mil right now. Um, for this Mbappe, this is expected for Mbappe to drop around Black Friday. He's the most expensive gold card in the game. He's incredibly rare and also incredibly overpowered. There might be a quick bounce on Mbappe's gold price today if the League One Player of the Month SBC is like over 4 million coins. People will see it and be like, ah, that's way too much. I'm going to go buy the gold. But I actually think that gold Mbappe would potentially drop a little bit lower still upcoming this weekend with Black Friday because a lot of people are going to do this SBC once they see the amount of packs, they're going to be out and the fodder that they're getting in 30 days to do it. So I really think that that SBC dropping is going to end up hurting Mbappe's gold price throughout kind of the next month or two on this game, apart from a couple fluctuations in there. So that's the whole Mbappe SBC. Now fodder, right? You and me both, we're probably invested in fodder. We got to talk about this. Guys, we're not selling fodder today. Oh no. The SBC coming out today is the beginning. That is the demand that we've wanted because this SBC coming out means people have a reason to go and do the Mbappe SBC during Black Friday. And it's all of the SBCs combined during Black Friday that make fodder prices rise. Now, of course, with this leak, prices have gone up. Take a look at De Bruyne, 63K, all 90 rated or 54,000 coins. Literally, it coincides with this leak coming out yesterday. Once again, you see 48K for Harry Kane. They've just been rising all evening now they're even further up in price this is a hold the line type of situation especially on the 86s to the 89s those are going to be the cards needed the most to do the mbappe player of the month sbc as people start crafting it over the black friday period this is a type of investment guys that we're holding on to right because it's not just player of the month mbappe that we are waiting to see the release of for the fodder prices to go up during black friday every year fodder prices go up because there are so many sbcs like we mentioned in yesterday's video for players, right? We've got icon upgrade SBCs that's going to be refreshing during this promo. We're probably going to have that hero upgrade pack that's going to come back again and refresh maybe for even multiple times. We're going to have um, other SBCs like probably some more 85 plus type upgrades. Last year, there was like an 86 plus team of the week pack that was put out. There's going to be so many SBCs during Black Friday. Icon player SBCs as well for the brand new um Thunderstruck promo, right? We've got Centurions icons that we had SBCs for. We're definitely going to be getting Thunderstruck icon SBCs. That is the type of all of that demand that we are waiting for to see these fodder prices rise. So there might be people today that list up their 88s, 89s, 90s, but we're going to hold the line because they are going to go up further unless EA finds some incredible way of making it possible to make fodder not go up during Black Friday, which seems like a very slim chance. Granted, the prices that we've seen and what we've seen happen over the past couple of years and how we know Black Friday content is always insane. That's why we're holding the line on fodder. But if there's panic today, you could potentially get in. Now, speaking of fodder, I said we would look back at last year's game and the last couple of years just to show you why we believe in fodder so much. Look at 83 Jimenez, right? 83s last year were so dead. They're kind of like the 82s this year. They were all like literally discard 900 coins. But Black Friday came around for the first time. These cards actually showed some life. It was because, again, so many SBCs that were out that people were opening the packs from the store, tradable and untradeable. And like we've talked about many times, even though there's a lot of lightning rounds and a lot of packs in general that you would think would supply the market and make these cards go to zero, they actually go up because there's that much more SBC demand for players like this. 83s last year went from 900 coins to 2.3K even after the weekend of Black Friday. Black Friday's here, right? The 25th, they're starting to rise. The SBCs are crazy. The flash SBCs and all that stuff, they go all the way up to 2.3 thousand coins and then drop off the week after. Look at 84s, Vlahovic, right? 84s were 2.5 thousand coins last year, right around this time, starting to rise. They rose into the week. And then, of course, Black Friday comes and they just lift off. They go all the way to 5,300 coins and then go back down the next week. This is the type of thing that we're basically going to see again this year and why we're so gung-ho on fodder. Even though so many people are investing, 
there's going to be so much content guys that it kind of just has to go up, right? Even the higher rated, this is last year was the year of the 88s, right? 88s were 20, 27 to 30,000 coins before Black Friday came out. Um, and then they went obviously to like 50K, but that was because of a crazy situation with the uh, max, what is it, 89 World Cup Hero Pack that was released. That's what made these cards go up this much. Again, I've said it multiple times. I don't think 88s are going to 50K this year. Could I see them going to like 30, 35K potentially? Maybe a week down the line from now as we see people doing Mbappe, all the other SBCs that are out. You know, fodder prices are going to rise. So that is why we're so gung-ho on the fodder side of things right now. That's kind of the fodder talk, guys. That is that is Black Friday and fodder in a nutshell. It goes up because there are just so many SBCs. It would take something absolutely like game-changing from EA to not make fodder go up. It is invested in by a lot of people for sure. But it kind of has to go up because everybody's going to want to do those SBCs. And there's so much hype that returns to the game during Black Friday that hasn't been there. People are going to buy the game during Black Friday, guys. I'm pretty sure I just saw on Amazon that this game is half off already. Like, you can buy this game for 50% off already. And that's just going to mean more people coming onto the game, seeing the insane packs, wanting to open those, and then go do SBCs. It just bodes well for our fodder investments. Now, that's enough about fodder. I want to talk about something related to Black Friday that is different from previous years. EA starting the party early this year, guys. With this loading screen they dropped yesterday, the date and the countdown timer counts down to tomorrow, Wednesday. Usually Black Friday th started on Thursday with the best of team of the week, but that is what this loading screen describes, the best of team of the week. And it's obvious to see with these dynamic images here who's going to be at least some of the cards included. We've got Hyunmin Sun over here on the right. We've got Virgil van Dijk in the middle. And we've got Fede Valverde over there on the left. You can see it's VVD, right, with his dynamic image, with his hand kind of up by his face right here on the card as well. That is the same way. Guys, these cards are coming back into packs tomorrow. If you own, I cannot stress this enough, man, because I can't believe these prices have barely dropped. Like, if you own one of these cards, it is getting re-released into the best of Team of the Week Get it out, okay? Do not hold on to the card. It's not going to go up. Anytime something that is old from an old promo gets re-released back into packs, the prices get absolutely destroyed. I would even be careful with a guy like Cancelo, Lewandowski, any card that you think is a top tier. We looked at the best of team of the week yesterday, right? One of those top tier, bigger name players that has a team of the week card, even if it's less than like 150K, like this Cancelo is, this is still a card that is very likely to be included in a best of team of the week re-release. So I would sell those cards, guys. Like as I'm looking at prices right now, Fede Valverde, all the guys on the loading screen, Fede Valverde, uh, VVD and Sun are barely down. Like Valverde's down like 30K, Sun's down 30K. Like Sun is going to end up being, I think, less than 450,000 coins. Virgil van Dyke, who is 570, I think he's going to end up being probably around 400K under 400K. These guys are going to get destroyed, man, because they're going to be in packs for a while and they're going to get packed a ton during this weekend. Just to kind of show you how it looks, last year, Teo Hernandez was in best of for Black Friday. He went from 180,000 coins the next day. The next, next couple days, he went all the way down to 90,000 coins. He did end up going back up a lot, but that's just because he's Teo Hernandez, a French left back. There was no other new version of him for a while that was cheap at least. So that's why he had a really nice rise back. But this drop-off is what we're going to be seeing here in the next day or two on some of those informs. So be very, very careful with any of those meta team of the weeks. Now, Tuesday content today, apart from the crazy Mbappe SBC, what else are we expecting? Well, I mentioned it earlier. We are definitely expecting another player SBC. It's going to be a Swedish center back FC Pro live item today. Hein is his name, I believe. It actually could be a pretty solid card. I don't know what pro he's matched up with. I have to wait to see it today when they drop the SBC. But that's an SBC that could be pretty good. A Serie A center back with Swedish links. Maybe not the best links there. But uh, I hope he's 84 rated because it could be kind of like the, the situation we had. Oh, what's the Leverkusen center back's name? They got the live item. I keep thinking Tapsoba. It's it's not Tapsoba though. Um, Hinkapi, that Hinkapi, that's the guy I'm thinking of. He was a low rated, got the double upgrade with his first upgrade, right? And then got a massive boost and now looks freaking cracked. Could be the same sort of scenario with Hein today. So watch out for that. The 85 plus is refreshing today. As I already mentioned, watch out for 82s, 83s, 84s. Definitely going to go up in value because people don't want to miss out on these packs. I mean, to be honest, I packed Koulibaly out of this yesterday. 
that was kind of cool, right? But I'm probably not going to do too many more of these because it's just going to get more and more expensive as the week goes on. I'll say this as well. If you guys are trying to finish off any player SBCs that are semi-cheap that you need 83s and 84s for, I would finish those off like soon because these card prices are probably just going to rise today even further. 83s at 2,000 coins, they might be 2.3, 2.4 as we go into today's content. So if you're trying to finish off any 83 or 84 rated squads, it might be a time where you just kind of have to take it out of pocket or pay a little bit of coins if you want to get that SBC done before Black Friday because prices in this area are probably just going to continue to rise. Could we also see another like 84 plus RTTK or, um, you know, the Trailblazers like upgrade pack today? I think that's very possible as well. That's the sort of upgrade pack that EA would potentially want to drop during this time period too. And maybe they dropped the one that's in Weekend League Rewards, that campaign mixed bag pack does contain Centurions as well. That could drop also as an SBC today, guys, and be another upgrade SBC that will be refreshing throughout Black Friday that a lot of people would want to do. If it does, keep an eye on Team of the Weeks. I know a lot of people are going to be going in and investing on Team of the Weeks again. Um, if they're required today, they will go up, definitely, especially for like an upgrade pack like that. So be very careful with Team of the Weeks because they could also go down a lot in the coming days with the re-release of Best Of, with a Team of the Week that's going to be in packs tomorrow, and probably some more Team of the Week upgrades that we put out. But uh, they're probably going to keep requiring Team of the Weeks and SBCs. So it's not a terrible investment. It's just a little bit risky. And then the last thing I want to talk about today is this. New car design was added to the code a couple hours ago. And this, I think, is what EA is dropping in Evolutions today, guys. Because remember, we looked at it. Evolutions this week is going to contain a red player item that's it's an upgrade right it's an objective that you will complete to get a token or consumable to upgrade an evolution where you'll be able to make a card turn into that card design so a lot of people are saying oh my goodness red picks are coming back i don't think that's what this is for i literally think we're going to get an evolution today that will enable us to cosmetically upgrade i don't think it's going to be any stat upgrades the way that it sounds We'll be able to cosmetically upgrade a card from whatever card design it is. Maybe there'll be some restrictions in there, but we'll go from objectives to complete that. And then we will be able to redeem a consumable um, to get ourselves a red player, which the design does look sick. That is a sick design, but you know, I think people are going to make fun of that today in Evolutions if that is a part of content. Also, Rolling Stones kit yesterday dropped by EA. That was a sick, um, absolutely insane kit so shout out to ea for that that was cool i don't remember if we had any other oh yeah we had the saudi um we had the saudi cards dropped yesterday as well but these again just look they just look kind of mid man they just look pretty red so mid so that's what i'm expecting for content today the big mbappe sbc and then we'll see what else happens guys still being very careful on the market really quickly as well forgot to check on these mad lads the fc pro cards continue to rise I have sold all of mine except for Daniel Mounds. I got Daniel Mounds at 16K. I'm fine with that price to hold on for a while. I sold my Deli Alley's about 20K too early. He had a crazy rise. He's up 70K from Sunday. But I sold all these. I sold my Tovans as well. Just because with Black Friday upcoming, I want to have my coins available as much as I can. And uh, we'll look to reinvest in some of these on the weekend. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about buying teams, meta cards, out of pack specials and what to watch for with that side of the market this weekend with Black Friday coming. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Wood Account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.